own money, right? Like Bitcoin, Ethereum, Ripple, and they all use a technology called blockchain. But at the current level, um, at a global level especially, there aren't that many regulations like traditional banks to really monitor the situation. So we can really say that they have leveled up their circumvention um, in terms of the UN sanctions that they've I thought blockchain was supposed to help everyone be ultra secure. Maybe it helps hackers be ultra efficient. Yeah, I mean, I, I guess we should have foreseen it, right? If there are ways to save up money, there is a way to steal money. So, I mean, the heist in terms of cryptocurrency and the new just last month in Japan, a hack was reported that led to the loss of $32 million worth of virtual money. So just because it's virtual, it doesn't mean they disappear. Does this mean, I mean, are we talking about big transactions, big sums, or is it chipping away kind of the hard-to-notice sums, you know, less than 500 bucks a go? Or do we know, do we know sort of how widespread it is, or big hits and big amounts of cash netted? Um, so the one that was reported in Japan, that was definitely a big heist, right? $32 million worth of money. But whether the amount is small or big compared to the traditional bank sectors, it is harder to trace. And with the current standards, it's subject to less government oversight and less international organization regulation. So we, it is happening in the background, but it's hard to track that in the more of a traditional sense. Julie, thanks so much. Julie Yoon with us uh, with that update from Seoul this morning on Business Matters. Now, we seem to have developed something of a theme this summer, discussing the impact of human activity on our global climate and the reciprocal impact of a changing climate on our human activity, especially in our reporting on farming. On Thursday, we had another warning from the highly influential intergovernmental panel on climate change that the climate emergency is already exacerbating food insecurity and now poses the risk of food crises on different continents simultaneously. Valerie masson dermot led one of the IPCC working groups. She says the way we produce food, the way we use land, have had a major impact on the climate. 